Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to uninstall and install um, NVIDIA drivers properly. Now don't exit the video just because I'm using a camera, even though I have fraps, but I'm going to do it with a camera so I can show a real world thing, whereas when you're restarting computers and all that, you can't um, like use fraps and all that stuff, especially when you're installing things and you don't want other programs running when you're doing that stuff. So I'm just going to use a camera, I'm not going to use a um, VMware or whatever, that, like a virtual computer, I'm not going to do that, so this is just a real world thing. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to properly uninstall them and properly install them. Alright, so first thing you want to do is um, in obviously install the, um, I uh, can't install, you did that last time, download the um, correct driver. So you do that, um, you can just go straight to their website and search around and stuff, or you can just go to your control panel, help, updates, and you can check for updates and then download and it'll take you straight to the one you need to download and you can download it. If not, just go to their website, go to drivers and put in the information about your drivers. We can auto detect it. It's pretty easy to figure out. Once you've done that, um, at the bottom of the download page, it will say, um, uh, not review notes, um, oh god, release notes. So, I'm pretty sure, yeah, release notes. So what you want to do is read, read the release notes because in this new driver there might be some problems that will make it even worse than the one you already have. So find, I've gone scroll down, found out Windows 7 64 bit issues with this driver. I use a single GPU and they're the problems there. I don't have Guild Wars 2 and that problem there I will check but um, I haven't had that problem before. Then I have a 500 series card, so I'll just read about that, and I have no problems. So I'll just exit out of that. I will then go into Windows Update, and go into Change Settings, and make it check for updates, but let me choose whether to download and install them. You don't want to have the default one recommended. Don't do it, it's stupid. It's not. You'll just install the shit you don't want, so just don't do it and then just tickle those boxes. Alright, so once you've done that, then you can go into um, my computer, the C drive, uh, NVIDIA, or NVIDIA, whatever you want to call it, display driver. Now don't delete the display driver folder. You want to delete the numbered folder inside it. So you can just delete that, because you that's where they extract the um, files and folders and you don't want it to get mixed up so just delete that from the recycling bin. Alright, then you want to disable your antivirus. That can be done, um, it's different for each antivirus but you know, you can figure it out. Now I go here, shields control, disable permanently. And yes, now my computer's gonna be like, oh no, enable or we'll get angry at you. Uh, your system's unsecured. Yay. Um, Alright. So now, you should be ready to uninstall the drivers. Now, you want to uninstall the graphics. So you want to go into the pro control panel, programs, programs and features, uninstall or change the program. And you want to uninstall the graphics driver last. Because that's what gives you all your graphics and you don't want to be messing around and all this stuff. Sometimes, even though we change those settings in the um, Windows Update settings, sometimes it still installs the new graphics driver without, it installs the old one, even though you said ask, um, let me choose whether to install them, it still does it anyway because Windows is annoying like that sometimes. So what I do is I just disconnect from the internet. Simple. Oh. Just one other thing, when you download your driver, just put it on the desktop, copy it to the desktop. Right, so now I'm disconnected from the internet, I can uninstall the video, up now just uninstall the NVIDIA ones, now you may have more than this, you may have less, you may have different ones, but just uninstall all the NVIDIA ones, except for the graphics driver, you'll do that last, so I'll uninstall, update.
Nvidia graphics driver, you want to uninstall that. So go to uninstall. Now this one will make all your screen go funky and all this stuff. Don't worry about that. Do you really want to uninstall? Yes. My hand is shaking. God. There we go. Things going. Oh my God! You're so weird. Okay. So restart now. Alright guys, so I'm just booting in. Do not boot into safe mode. People say do it because it's just better. Don't just... Safe mode, it's bad. It. I don't think PhysX installs properly when you do that, or something doesn't install properly. Oh, that's... Yeah, that. Okay, now standard VGA graphics adapter. That is okay. Okay, that can be installed because it's not the driver, it's just a VGA adapter thing. Right? I have no internet, it can't install any drivers, it's just a VGA adapter. Graphics thing, magic. So this is weird. Now that this has been dragged to the desktop, you just want to double click on it. You'll ask for admin privileges. That's one other thing you need to do before you do all this, sorry. Make sure you have all the admin privileges, make sure, make sure you're admin, all that stuff. So yes. Um, folder where you want... Yep, and just leave it as the default, alright? It's okay. And if this is the first install, there might be nothing there. Just leave it blank, just click OK. Let's just do its thing. It's extracting all the driver set files, folders. System compatibility. Awesome. Agree and continue. Handshaking, stop. <laughs> Alright, now, ooh, this is a very, very big thing. Do not, it says recommended, it is not, don't do it. It it messes up your system, it's stupid, it's for people that can't do anything on their computers. Do custom advanced, okay? You, it, there's a clean, as it says, there's a clean installation. So, highlight that next. Alright. You want to check, perform, stop shaking, okay? Perform clean installation. You want to uncheck... 3D Vision Controller Driver, 3D Vision Driver, and HD Audio Driver. But leave NVIDIA update. Oh, and there will be another one down here. And PhysX, you want to leave that as well. So uncheck that, 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 and leave PhysX, NVIDIA update, and graphic. You don't have to have NVIDIA update, I just like it. Now, you don't need 3 Vision Controller Driver unless you have 3D glasses and a 3D monitor, and you don't need HD Audio Driver unless your audio comes through your HDMI cable which I have speakers that don't do that. All right, make sure you check perform clean installation. Let's check again, graphics drivers automatically checked, NVIDIA update and PhysX system software. All right, yeah, no updates, go away. Um, and next, perform the clean install. Da 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 da. Installing graphics driver, and we'll just let this do this thing and I'll be back. Alright guys, so it's just done that thing, haven't clicked anything yet. And now you want to click on restart now. You have to restart it, alright? Don't do anything until it's restarted. Like, nothing, alright? Restart. is all good. My sticky notes are a bit messed up. But and if you see it looks like it did at the beginning. All good. Now you can plug your internet back in. Boom boom boom. It will all load up. And if you right click you should have the NVIDIA control panel. I'll click on that. Welcome to your new NVIDIA driver or something. Oh okay, no, maybe not. Um, and I've got the latest one. 314.22 and that's what I need and it's working good everything installed correctly just as I need it to you can now delete the installation file and that should all be good so that is it your driver is installed so I hope this video helps you. If there are any problems, just comment. I will help you because I know a few things can go wrong sometimes. I will help you. I will, so just comment, tell me. I'll help you. All right. Um, and that is it. So I'll see you guys next time.
Alright guys, so very quickly, just one more thing. Remember to um, reactivate your antivirus and also just go into the video control panel, go into set physics configuration and make sure it's set to auto select. Alright, because sometimes it's set to CPU and it doesn't work very well. Just make sure that's good. All good. See ya.